Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane maintains her innocence. This follows last night's guilty verdict on charges relating to a grand jury leak. Eyewitness News reporter Justin Finch is live in the CBS 3 South Center. Justin. Brooke Jim, good morning. Kane is now awaiting her sentencing within the next 90 days. Her perjury charges alone could leave her serving time behind bars. A far from foreseeable end for Kane, whose political star seemed on the rise with her election four years ago. A fall from grace for Kathleen Kane, Pennsylvania's first woman and first Democrat elected state attorney general back in 2012. Now at the end of her first term, she's made history again. Found guilty of perjury by a jury of six women and six men. Montgomery County DA Kevin Steele reacted outside the courthouse in Norristown Monday night. Uh, this was about um, the defendant going before a grand jury uh, in Montgomery County. Uh, and lying to that grand jury. Uh, the evidence um, was overwhelming in that regard and the, uh, the defendant was convicted. Convicted of a campaign to discredit a state prosecutor, one she believed leaked info about her to the media. To hit back, she reportedly leaked details of a secret grand jury probe to the press and concocted a cover-up, then lied about it under oath. The state called former Kane staffers who backed up that account, but Kane's defense team never called a single witness. Kane's attorney, Gerald Shargell, explains. In many of my cases where no witnesses appeared and acquittals resulted, and, and uh, the opposite is also true. So it's, it's a strategy. Obviously, we, we thought that it, that it would work, but I'll be the first person to say we were wrong. Shargell argues Kane's defense was never a full one because the judge barred delving into the so-called Porngate scandal, a campaign Kane waged that exposed explicit emails shared by state employees. And when asked, Kane's defense team said they do not know when she plans to step down. At the judge's order, Kane has surrendered her passport and was warned against lashing out at ex-staffers who testified against her. Kane's Harrisburg office is holding a 1 p.m. press conference today to discuss the agency's future without its top prosecutor. Jim, Brooke. Thanks a lot, Justin.